let us discuss in this session about rotating magnetic field concepts and i will i may not be able to tell you complete about uh, time and space because this is simplified machine course means i will deal that in the detailed machine course later okay but i will introduce you to time and space okay see if i have stator in stator let me take a here a dash here okay let me supply sinusoidal current here sinusoidal current here okay so if i supply sinusoidal current okay when current is zero when current is zero my mmf created by this is going to be zero now when current is maximum my mmf is going to be maximum when current is zero again mmf is going to be zero when current is negative maximum it is going to be negative maximum like this means that for example let me take here dot as a reference and cross okay i'm not saying all the time dot current will flow all the time cross current will flow but that is going to be sinusoidal okay so my mmf is going to be cross here dot here so my mmf axis is in this direction mmf axis f a okay so here the mmf axis okay when current is zero mmf is going to be zero when current is positive maximum mmf is going to be positive maximum when current is zero again mmf is going to be zero so if i give sinusoidal current here my mmf is going to be zero maybe half of the maximum maximum half of the maximum zero half of the negative maximum negative maximum zero so it is going to pulsate like this okay now let me think of two phase machine this is a a dash and this is b b dash okay and this is stator okay now this is dot reference cross dot cross okay now in this let me inject currents here i a and let me inject currents here i b for example these two currents are time displaced by 90 degrees in the sense this is with respect to time okay so for example this is ia okay this is ia sinusoid like this okay now let us think of ib ib rms value equal to ia rms value but it is time displaced by 90 degrees time displaced by 90 degrees means that like this okay so when ia is positive maximum ib is going to be zero when ib is positive maximum ia is going to be zero some 90 degrees displacement is there okay after this i will tell you what is meant by space displacement now whenever like you know this ia ia is zero i zero mmf is going to be zero okay it means it is like you know for example for a a dash for a a dash okay so for a a dash if you think of only a a dash current ia is going to be sinusoid so my mmf here mmf here is going to be zero positive maximum zero negative maximum zero so zero positive maximum zero negative maximum zero mmf now if you think of b b dash okay so if you think of b b dash my mmf is going to be in this direction yeah, cross dot mmf is going to be in this direction so under that condition my mmf when for example b is ib is zero and uh, like you know it will be mmf is going to be zero when ib is maximum this is going to be maximum after that zero after that negative maximum so for ib because x is different so ia axis is in this direction ib axis is in this direction okay so my ia is going to be zero positive maximum zero negative maximum zero at the same time ib is going to be zero positive maximum zero negative maximum zero okay now try to observe very closely when ia is zero when ia is zero okay when ia is zero this is zero but when ia is zero what is ib negative maximum so positive maximum this side negative maximum this side so when ia is zero ib is going to be negative maximum so ia plus ib is this flux only after that what is happening it is coming towards zero it is coming towards positive maximum so ia is zero mmf fa is zero fab is negative maximum okay fb is negative maximum like this now means a is increasing b is reducing to zero 
So at this condition, IA is positive maximum, IB is going to be zero. IA is positive maximum, IB is going to be zero. Okay. Now after that, after that, like you know, this is positive maximum. After that, IA is getting reduced. So FA is reducing, and this increase into positive maximum. And again, I try to observe closely here. Yeah? And again, this is going to be reducing. This is going to be increasing. Okay. And again, this is reducing. This is increasing. Now let us see how rotating magnetic field is created. Okay. For example, if my resultant is in this direction, this is stator. Okay. This is stator. So you have to sit in the air gap. You have to sit in the air gap. So MMF is entering into stator. Flux is entering into stator. So this pole is going to be yes pole. Yes pole of the stator. And flux is coming in this direction. So this is going to be north pole of the stator. Now, if it is rotating, if this resultant MMF is rotating, means that poles are rotating. Okay. Now let us try to observe very closely. This is zero. The IB is negative maximum. Now gradually IA is increasing. So my resultant is here. This is zero. This is resultant. Okay. Now it is increasing. It is reducing. Resultant is here now. It is rotated from here to here or not. Yes. After that it is reducing. It is increasing. It came to here resultant. And after that for example it reduced to half. It increased to half. What is the resultant is going to be here. And after that it is zero. It is a positive maximum or maximum. So resultant is going to be here. Again, let it reduce. Let it increase. Resultant is going to be here. And after that, let us increase this. Let us reduce this to zero. So in this way, my like, you know, rotating magnetic field is going to rotate. Okay. So if I have time displaced currents flowing through space displaced windings, rotating magnetic field will be produced, we say. Okay, means what is meant by time, what is meant by space, like you know, let me have a small introduction. Time displaced, time displaced means that time, like you know, time pass. Okay, so pass the time like a lazy bug sit at only one position and observe everything, don't rotate anywhere. So that is time displaced, pass the time. Okay, space displaced are dynamic means that you should be damn dynamic, damn dynamic such that in no time you have to rotate around the uh, air gap that is called space. Okay, so if you pass the time, time displaced at one instant of time, if you rotate in the air gap or anywhere, that is going to be space. Okay, for example, this is electrical conductor. Okay, now I hold at that conductor. Okay, and I slept there passing the time. So, means in this conductor, currents will flow. I am passing the time, I am sitting only at one position and I am passing the time. Means that, means in this particular current can be sinusoid, current may vary. So, I am not rotating anywhere, I am not moving anywhere. So, current will become time displaced. Voltages will become time displaced. Okay, for example, what is meant by space? See, this is going to be N. N pole, this is going to be S pole, your DC machine. Okay. Now, if I rotate from here, from here, means let me rotate it around this. So, how much is the flux density? Zero, positive maximum at the center of the pole, again zero, again negative maximum, again zero. Okay. So, my space, I have to rotate in space, zero, positive maximum, zero, negative maximum to zero, means that that is going to be space. Okay, so if you sit at one point, one point, one point in space, and if you don't move anywhere, if you just keep on observe what is happening around, okay, means passing the time, time displays in no time. If you rotate in uh, what do you say in the air gap, that is going to be space displays. Now, what is meant by space displacement of winding? Now, what is FA? See, reference, of course, this is sinusoid only. Current is going to be sinusoid, so my MMF is going to be sinusoid. Cross dot, cross dot. So, means my reference of MMF FA is here. So, the FA is going to be 0, positive max, 0, negative max, 0. Okay. Now, if you think of FB, cross dot, my FB axis is this. Okay, so FBX cross dot, FBX is this. I'm not saying every time uh, axis will be, sorry, resultant MM will be here only for B, for BB dash, but it is going to vary 0, positive max, 0, negative max, 0, positive max, 0, negative max, that way. Okay, so means actually what is meant by space displacement of the winding? Space displacement of the winding means that MMF of, axis of MMF of the windings should be displaced in space. Axis of MMFs 
of the windings displaced in space by 90 degrees. Okay. Now, when 90 degrees space displaced winding through that, if you supply 90 degrees time displaced currents, resultant MMF will be rotating. Rotating. So, what is the main primary condition to produce rotating magnetic field? Okay. We should have time displaced currents. Because basically, remember one thing, currents and voltages are always time displaced. Okay. Currents and voltages are always time displaced. Flux, flux density, MMF can either be space or time. Down the line, gradually we will understand the difference between time and space. Okay. So, if you inject time displaced currents through space displaced windings, one resultant MMF, one resultant MMF, for example, when it is here, resultant MMF is here, resultant MMF is here in this, resultant MMF is here, resultant MMF is here, resultant MMF is here, resultant MMF is here, resultant MMF is here. So that resultant MMF is rotating means that it's equivalently, for example, resultant MMF, this is rotating, means that NS poles are rotating. Okay, so this is the concept of rotating magnetic field. Remember one thing, in order to have rotating magnetic field, two points has to be made. One is, uh, what do you say, time displaced currents. Second is, space displaced windings. In the sense, the axis of MMF of the windings should be displaced in space. Okay, because of that, rotating magnetic field will come.